Okay, this incident takes place in County Bluffs, Iowa. I was here exercising my rights while, you know, dealing with law enforcement. I did a cop watch. I saw people get pulled over, so I, I decided to stop my vehicle to see what was going on. And lo and behold, Council Bluffs police officers are pulling somebody over. Now, at the end of the day, man, a lot of people don't film the police because they're nervous. And I, I'm starting to see that. They don't film the cops because they're scared or nervous because they don't know how the cops going to react. Their mindset is just to get up out of there, which is unreasonably understandable. Because at the end of the day, man, these cops could ruin your life. Literally ruin your life. And there'd be nothing you can do about it. So it's important that you know your rights while dealing with law enforcement in the United States, always film the police because it is your right to do so. You can't trust these cops. These cops are not your friends. They don't care about you. And at the end of the day, the police are not your friend. Check out, I hope you enjoyed this video as I do my best at additional commentary and narration. And I'm starting on a Facebook page, so stay tuned. Traffic stop going on here, guys. If you want to know what's going on? I just arrived on the scene here. We're gonna see what's going on here today. So we'll see. We'll see what's going on here. Let them do their thing and don't interrupt them. Just do them. Let them do their thing. So let's see what they're about to do here. We're currently in Council Bluffs, Iowa, and it's currently, I think it's. Let me see what time is it? 3.33 p.m. Central Time. I repeat, 3.33 p.m. Central Time. And then we're in Council Bluffs City, Iowa, at uh, Kansas Boulevard, next to the Family Dollar and Dollar Tree on 8th and Brock. So, I'm currently filming with my Samsung Galaxy Fold 4. And um, it's not a bad device. It's actually pretty decent. Um, I can look at the screen to make sure that I'm filming right. On my phone, I couldn't really do that as much. But with this, I can um, zoom in extremely far. I can see the officer right there. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna see what's going on and uh, we'll go from there, I guess. So the fact of the matter is, is when you're dealing with law enforcement in the United States, it's important that you always film the police. Anytime you get pulled over by the police, it's important that you film them. People don't do that because they're nervous. Understand, man, that if you don't film the police and something happens to you, you're pretty much screwed because you already know the cops are going to the court lying. They're going to lie. That's what they're good at. That's one of the privileges they have. Remember, the Supreme Court ruled that the police have the right to lie to you at any point of the investigation. They could literally say you did things you didn't do. And unfortunately, even if it goes to court and they lie in the courthouse, guess what? Guess what, guys? Who are they going to believe when there's no video? The police officer or you? And if you have a criminal history, they're not going to believe you anyways, right? I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Get back to it and enjoy. Just trying to add additional commentary to my videos. Nothing wrong with exercising your constitutional rights. Some people don't like it, but I don't judge. What I do when people don't like it really is I don't care. I just do it because if something happens here, I'll have it on video. 
You belong once you're here, bro. That's not your that's not your choice. Now I can show respect and not put you on camera, but you know, one guy he he got mad because I was filming the uh, I was filming a traffic stop with the Iowa State Patrol. So he got extremely upset. And I told him to go do his thing. Let's see what's going on here. So this lady officer that approaches me is very rude and disrespectful. She tries to snatch the phone out of my hand and I dodged it. Of course, I have quick reflexes because I've been filming for a long time. Back to the video. You doing all right? What's your best number since you confronted me? You doing a, you doing a close up of me? No, I'm just exercising my rights in public. You are? Yeah. What's your best number, ma'am? Uh, what'd you say? My, my name is right here if you need it. Alright, I'm gonna get close and get it, okay? Get set. Oh! Don't come Yo, in like I just wanted your name and batch number. I just, want, I just wanted your name and batch number. No, no, you wanna be disrespectful. All you gotta do is say, all you gotta do is say your name. I don't know you and I don't know what you That's all you gotta do is say your name and batch number. Get your supervisor here. Just get your supervisor. Get your supervisor. Because you assaulted me, that's why. I, I wanted your office. name and badge number. I That's all. My name's right here. I can't see that. You, you, I apologize. You, can't you should just that. state your name. My, my name is whatever and my badge number is whatever. You should just state your name. You, I'm just checking him to make sure he's valid. She's not. So. Okay. It's, 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 it's a new car. Does he even know that? No. Okay, so he's just passing. Okay, gotcha. Yep. There's nothing wrong with exercising your rights in public, ma'am. It doesn't bother me, but you can't come up in my personal space for office. I don't know you. I don't know if you have any weapons on you. There's a bulge in your front left pocket. Stay oh. away from me. I've made it clear. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Yeah, learn to keep your hands to yourself, sweetheart, okay? It was all going well until you did that. You could have just stayed in your car. You should have just stayed away from the scene. You don't have to be here. Definitely gonna be filing a complaint for you assaulting me. That's all I'm gonna say. Okay. That is your right. Yeah, it is my constitution. All right, you're right about that. You have a good day, officer. You have a great day. Sir. You too. You guys, are you gonna get your supervisor here, or do I need to go to the station and get him? All right. You need no, I got it. <laughs> oh. Hey officer, you did a good job, man. I appreciate your professionalism, but she wasn't professional. But I appreciate the, I appreciate your professionalism. The fact of the matter is you can't trust the police. This is why the police are losing respect. It's, the way that lady officer acted was disrespectful. All she had to do was state the name and badge number. Have a good day. You too, man. Bro, that is, I never thought that was going to happen, but I guess it did. So guys, an officer put her hands on me for filming. She wouldn't state her name and badge numbers, so, you know. 
So we're gonna get up out of here. So here's the thing, guys. When you're dealing with law enforcement in the United States, it's important that you always film the police because it is your right to do so. You, you shouldn't be, you shouldn't trust these cops. These cops are like very horrible, man. You just can't trust them. Unfortunately, dealing with law enforcement is a scary situation. A lot of people are not used to dealing with the cops because, you know, who wants to deal with law enforcement? I sure don't. I mean, I'm an auditor, so that's what I do, but... Only if they approach. I would I do my best not to seek them out. But if they if they respect my rights, we good. If they don't, well, then you know how the video goes. Filming the police is your right. And it's recommended that you film law enforcement in the United States. Always film the police. This takes place in Council Bluffs, Iowa. I will put my new Facebook link in the description, guys. We need to we need you guys to go over there and follow me on Facebook, man. I need to get I need to get on a different platform because you're on this channel, man. Like one minute I'm doing good and one minute I'm not. And I really don't like this idea that, you know, you know, my 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 progress can be stifled. Cause really I should be at like two hundred thousand subscribers right now. But unfortunately, you know, this channel is going through a lot behind the scenes though. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember, always film the police. Um, like I said, man, I'm trying to do a different method of getting my videos uploaded. So now I use two phones when I edit my videos. So that way I can just knock out both videos and be done with it. And normally I'll do my videos during the daytime. During the daytime. Because when I wake up, I'll just knock them out real quick and then go about my day. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know I'm not the best person when it comes to commentary and I know I repeat a lot of things, but let's just be honest about it. Filming the police is important and I want you to nice to know that. So if you, cause see, I don't want you guys come back later and say, well, we didn't know that because you didn't tell us. No, I told you, you just didn't want to listen. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm out guys. Peace.